Hello there, Fairview students. This is Ms. Lerma. We continue with uh, repetitive of lines or centangles. Uh, again, um, what's the objective? What are we learning? What are we doing? This week again, we're going to continue with uh, centangle designs, uh, and that is repetitive lines. Now, and why are we doing this? Why is this important? Well, it's important because uh, we need to learn about line control, line balance, line direction. All of those combined help us with our motor skill development, uh, hand and eye coordination, and at the same time, uh, it help us, helps us with our cognitive skills to learn and improve um, how we think. So let's begin with a simple project that I thought could be a good, um, easy, simple project that I, that I kind of researched and you will probably like it. So let's not waste time and let's get started. And again, there's a lot of students who are not posting their, their projects correctly. Uh, you hit uh, submit, but you're not uploading your project. So pay attention to that. So real simple design, uh, make circles, big ones, small ones, you know, however you want. It's your choice, your project. Um, it doesn't matter how big they are and again these are projects designed to help develop motor skill development um, it helps on all grade levels especially first graders second graders even up to the fifth grade level uh, we tend to kind of rush with our projects and um, we tend to rush um, so I always keep on telling you guys to slow down on your projects uh, and your circles don't have to be perfect circles uh, that's okay if they come out differently or oval or like an egg that's okay um, doesn't matter but just make sure you try to make an effort of connecting the dots uh, I seen people make a circle but they don't connect the edges so make an effort and as we're doing this we um, continue making circles any direction you place them wherever you want and I noticed if you notice I kind of made the same sizes uh, so you want to try to make them uh, different sizes and try to fill in the spaces in between you know I know you probably have some that are smaller than others and we continue with this <clears throat> now um, for those of you that have submitted projects thank you very much I enjoy uh, seeing the work that you guys turn in it makes me so happy um, I haven't told you this but I'm doing a military duty as well during the day and come home and then um, gotta make sure I do my projects with you guys because I miss you guys that looks pretty good I like how, how um, it's looking now if you notice you could do this in colors markers color pencils as well uh, once you do it in sharpie um, but I'm trying to kind of fill the space as much as possible so it kind of gives it a nice look all right so <clears throat> let me see that looks good all right, let's switch with the pens. Let me find the fine point tip that I normally use. And I think uh, this will be the one that I will use probably. Oh, no, oh, here it is. So I am gonna use a gel pen. I think we guys have used them before. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in one direction and I'm gonna keep all my lines in the same direction to give it that nice effect. So I'm just gonna make my lines and the goal is to stay within the circle try to stay in that's going to be the effect of the project if you go outside the line that's okay but keep in mind that if you do 
your project's gonna look a little bit um, not clean. Remember, we're trying to make an effort to control the lines to make our project look presentable because the projects represent who we are. And I'm keeping my paper in the same direction because I want my lines to go the same direction. That is the key to this project. I think probably in the next session, I'm going to uh, give some ideas for, uh, for paper. Um, or what you can use to draw uh, you'd be surprised what it's around in the house to draw um, you may not have paper then there's other ways and so I'll, I'll think about a lesson for for that so we're keeping the same direction with the lines that's the effect keep in mind this is very important and again, I'm going to say again, for those of you who are uploading your projects, thank you very much. For those of you that have made an effort to upload them, thank you very much. Um, but keep, please keep in mind that um, when you hit uh, upload, you're clicking on the image that you're going to upload because um, I'm seeing multiple students who are submitting projects, but there's no attachment so I can't see your work so if you can't upload it um, you know uh, load it up on the on the email string on the uh, on the file on on the lesson where students make comments on the on the lesson of the day you can actually make a comment and then you have that option to upload a file if you can't do it um, the other way into the the desktop I'm sorry the um, I don't know what I'm saying but um, let me figure it out in a second because I'm concentrating on drawing oh what I meant to say on um, <clears throat> on your personal file when your name comes up on my side I see your name I see your icon and then it tells me that if you have uploaded a file or not And for those of you who uh, responded back that you're trying to figure it out, that's okay. I mean, I can give you partial credit for doing it, for making an effort. That's all that counts. Um, but I think eventually you'll figure it out because it took me a while to figure out how to do the lessons um, using Google uh, Classroom. And then on top of that, it took me a while to... Uh, To understand the whole process but you know with uh, with practice and and uh, effort like just like anything you know you can get better at it and improve and these are just simple exercises hand exercises that allow you just to relax control your line and you're gonna reach a point where you begin getting tired uh, if you do just take a break not a big deal We should be doing pretty good. Not bad. All right, looking good. This is pretty good. I like the way it's turned up. Um, I got this idea. I, I searched the internet for projects that relate to to our lessons or what we're learning and it takes me a while to find the right projects there's a lot of projects that I would like to show you but I think a lot of times I get overexcited with so many things that are out there that I want to show you but I have to remember that we have to take it in steps and we have to remember that uh, the projects also have to be designed for a first grader or second grader to understand and, and, and make an effort in the project because we're trying to build confidence on students so they understand that they can draw anything that they like. Um,
but also there was a few students, several students actually, that um, went ahead and created their own project. They they asked me they could draw a, a project of their own and upload it. I said, sure, you can do that. Um, you know, I just create the lessons and the projects. Uh, if in case you have no ideas, if you have your own idea, um, that's fine, you know, but I, I want you to try to make an effort for the lessons that I make. Don't just upload a project that you had for a year or two someplace in your, in your room and uh, expect to get credit for that project. So I want to see these projects uh, attempted. You can do the project and then you can also upload the other one as well. And I will give you a partial credit. So as you can tell, the project is looking a lot better. Um, I gotta hurry up because I forget about the time limit. Um, it does take me a while to do the video. Then I gotta edit it. And then I gotta upload it to YouTube. And then transfer it to Google Classroom, so it's a process. But uh, but I think luckily I took graphic designing when I was in school, and and that really helped a lot with the uh, computer abilities. But I still have a lot to learn. Okay, looking good. Not bad. And it, keep in mind that I'm keeping my lines the same direction. That's the key to this project. You gotta keep your lines the same direction. All right, not bad. Looking good. I like it um, doing the project looks a lot better than when you see a picture and I'm hoping that this is helping your your abilities now through this project you can go a different directions you can probably color around it the outside of it or the uh, the circles the spheres And all of these projects, like I said, they're very simple to make, therapeutic. I'm actually going faster, but if I was taking my time, I normally go at a slower pace to actually enjoy the, the process, the journey of a project. And um, once you finish it, the outcome is very pleasing to the eye, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. What does aesthetic mean? Um, beauty. Something beautiful, pleasing to the eyes. All right, so there we go. That's the project of the day. You know, very simple. It doesn't require a lot of, a lot of thinking. It's a very th ther therapeutic project. So there you go. But what's missing? What's, what's last? What do I keep on saying? Okay, your signature, right? Don't forget, write your signature. So you, we know that it belongs to you. And again, we're learning line control, line balance, line design. All of those together give us what? Motor skill development. We are developing our motor skills, hand and eye coordination. And um, I hope you enjoy the lesson. Have a good day.